Howdy friends, welcome to another command crate opening video, and you might notice I only have four command crates in my inventory, which would make for a pretty short video. However, I do have, somewhere in here, there they are, plenty of bonus CXP consumables. Let's go ahead and take these out. Uh, some of the blue ones are from the um, command crates themselves, and others are from operations. And I don't feel like covering over each of them to figure out which is which, um, or I would save the big ones for last. But right now it is uh, double CXP for the 2018 holiday season, and at least for the time being, light side is also winning. Let me just triple check that. Yep, still have almost five hours left. And it shouldn't take us that long. If it does, we're doing something very wrong. Uh, let me make sure I pop a command boost, which I don't actually have at the moment. So give me one second here to find what I did with mine. There they are. We'll use a three hour one because I'll probably do some PvP at some point in the next few days. Um, all right, so command boost, light side winning. I think we're good to go. Let's start by opening up all these packs. So these are just little ones from the um, from the actual cartel packs. They won't give you quite as much operation. We'll try to save those for the end. That way we won't max out my cargo bay as well, or my uh, inventory. Since a lot of these are probably gonna give like one crate a piece and that's going to add up very quickly. Um, CXP. So typically the blue ones only come from really hard bosses, like the final bosses of veteran modes and uh, mastery mode bosses in operations. Um, and since my guild typically does like a, one of the harder hard mode ops and then um, tries to progress on the last boss, we don't get too many blue crates. Lots of greens though. Yeah, right now it looks like we're about getting, it's a little less than one bar per crate. So we're about to open one and not get one. But then we'll definitely get one for each of the next ones. You can see it like stepping back on the lower right there. Just go through all these. We should have a ton of command crates by the end of this. And now these blue ones are going to be worth probably like double. Yes, well, not quite double, but one and a half times. Not sure what the difference is between bonus operation and operation. I guess it gives you about a thousand more. Anyway, our inventory is not quite full, but we do have 72 command crates, quite a few. Um, I could split that into two videos, but I'm not going to. And I actually do have to go um, at three or a little after, so. I don't, oh, I did not empty my command stash. That's not good. So I might. Um, I have to cut this video and then splice it together again, but that won't really affect you guys too much. I really just want to make sure I open those packs while it was light side. So as usual, I like to go through and just check the things that I do want to claim. I definitely want those. And then everything else I can just do a mass disintegration for. I'm in my tank spec at the moment. Okay, claim those guys. Disintegrate, yes. Uh, I guess that's a good problem to have, but let's just put some of this junk in here for now. And once we begin opening some of these crates, that should make more space. So I will try to go quickly here. Get rid of that guy. All right, here we go. So I'm hoping for legendary tank here. That's pretty much all I could use from here. I mean, obviously like, the CXP boosts are good and the packs are good. Survivor's belt, but it's um, survivor's gloves. Some of this I might be able to use for my PVP set. I should really write this down. Usually I keep a spreadsheet of all my character's gear so I can keep it all straight. There's a command boost. But um, I've been sort of lacking on that when it comes to my tank set. Mainly because I don't really share that set between multiple characters. I'm gonna keep going until we get to 30. Alright, here we go. So, 
Come with command tokens, rep, consumable. Want these guys. Java junk is always nice. So I got a gloves and a belt. Let me just check my legacy bay real quick and see if I actually need gloves and a belt on my PvP set. It would just be the armoring, but still. Gloves, 242. So 246 is better. And belt is already 248. Um, so I have a 246 and a 242 right now. So I will take the gloves. And everything else can go away. Alright, next batch. We are barely keeping ahead of our inventory space. A relic I don't need. To be honest, I don't really need relics in general because um, that could be better. Mark 3 I think is better than Mark 4. Um, it has less defense and more uh, other stats. This claim max, I think I could use that uh, implant. Um, Yes, yeah, so uh, tank relics really aren't useful in most fights. Most PvE tanks tend to run DPS relics because it gives you more endurance and it gives you more DPS just for a cost of some mitigation. Um, and I think pretty much all PvP tanks run DPS relics. I know I certainly do. There are some fights where it's probably good to have like a clicky tank relic. Um, or if there are some fights that have just a lot of outgoing damage, maybe it'd be useful to have a real tank relic, but on the whole, the tank relics are a little underwhelming. Uh, initiative I do not need. I already have plenty of those and plenty of the 248 versions. Reactive warding, that might be situationally useful, but will I ever actually switch it up? Probably not. Um, okay, that guy, I want you. Legendary companion gift. Probably have a decent amount of gifts saved up at this point from all these packs. When I get the chance, I should probably go through and just um, start handing them out to one of my character's companions, maybe my Sork. Survivor's Boots, all right. Do I need those? 246, let's once again check the Legacy Bay. 242, yes I do. Watch me get 248 from one of these other packs, which would be nice. Great to get some of the new mats too. These are all obviously new crates. Um, warding mod, 54. And I really use the power mods these days because defense is just not great on tanks either. You want some of it, but after a while you get into the diminishing returns and it's it's uh, not a bad idea to switch some into power. Because you really won't lose much mitigation at all. And um, you will help your reactive warding. That's the one I just had before. I was thinking that might be the clicky. And um, you will help with your group's overall DPS output, which could be very useful in some of the more difficult fights, especially master mode fights. All right, legs. We already talked about legs, didn't we? Didn't I get some of those already? Or am I thinking of feet? Oh, I'm thinking of gloves. Okay, so legs. Do we need legs? Um, I don't actually have a leg piece because I use my DPS leg piece because, again, PvP. Not a bad idea. I think I actually have one of these in case I do want to switch from a previous opening video. So we're going to just go ahead and disintegrate those. There's always the chance we might get a 248 as well, in which case claiming that would be useless. Um, tempted to get one of these just in case. Yeah, why not? I know like 4700 damage doesn't sound like a lot, but apparently it's actually the best tanky relic. So I'm told. Naming those guys, and we'll get rid of these guys. All right, and we still have plenty to go, and I have like one minute. Um, I might not have to leave right at three, but I shouldn't dilly dally. Gormac Power Cell is a reputation item. I'm not getting confused this time. Belts, we already talked about belts, didn't we? I don't need those. I'm just going to disintegrate so I don't forget that. Superior Command Boost. Um, Blue bulwark device I don't need. I need a legendary bulwark device. Cuffs. Do we need cuffs? Uh, yes, we actually badly need cuffs. Looks like I only have a um, 244 in my PvE set, which is the one I try to keep a little bit um, better. 
kind of a tough decision though, because right now I do use both my PvE set and my PvP set fairly often. As you guys I'm sure have seen, I've been doing a lot of um, PvE tank videos lately. I'm the pub side team's one of our main tanks. I know what is the role coming to an arrow ale is one of the main tanks, but trying something new. Um, this is another one that I think might be slightly better because it has less defense and more other stuff. So let's claim that. Savant enhancement. I might be able to use that for like my commando if I gear him. Which I keep saying I'll do one of these days and never get to. Ah, sorry, frog in my throat. That's what I get for eating frogs. Okay, don't need that. Actually, I don't know if I have that schematic. I guess not. Maybe I should claim it just in case. Um, what else? What else? What else? We got the reputation item. I was excited at first. I thought that was a, one of the new crafting mats, or one of the new crystals, whatever they're called. But it does not seem to be. Mm, Bastion, maybe. I, don't, I think I already have all those, but. I don't know why I would ever want that, but I just feel like I should claim that just in case. Too bad they're bound or I could sell it for a decent amount of money. Oh, I might reach... Oh, the command token? How am I doing there? 2400 I think I'm going to be okay. I don't want to hit that limit because I can buy actually useful things with that, like um, those mats or... Oh, I didn't disintegrate. Oh well. Next time. Or... um. Um, CXP boost. Just trying to think of the word. All right. I haven't noticed how many we've been getting as we go through this. Uh, companion gift. These should be stuff from before. Okay, so don't want to oh, do one that. Don't know how I missed him. Maybe it's a good thing I didn't disintegrate. Or maybe it just reordered them on me. All of this is pretty much useless. All right, and disintegrate. I have been getting more of these I go through. I'm not sure how many more I'll have to... I'll either watch the video back and count or um, another one of these relics. But I took one because it seems to really want me to. Um, or I'll just put like about 80 because I think we've done about 80. Pure command boost. Kind of a nice, um, what's the word when you, consolation prize. Ooh, bulwark device. Um, sweet, perfect, that is something I very much wanted, so in that right now. That is a direct upgrade, and I guess it's not best in slot anymore, but as of a few weeks ago, it would have been best in slot. Cuffs, we said I don't even have a good one of these in my tank gear, so that's also lucky. So this has been a pretty good video. Been, um, I mean, we haven't been to a lot of crates. That always helps, too. That's one reason I like opening all my crates at once, even though I have to wait a little bit to get gear. Um, when you just open a crate one at a time, you're, just, you're disappointed, like, 95% of the time. But if you do them all at once, you're probably going to get something that you like. And the more you open, the more likely you are to get one or many things you like. So it makes it feel more rewarding. I don't think I need that. I'm sure I'm missing an item or two as I go through, but I'm not too worried about it. It's really the legendaries that are most important. Okay, claim them, create them, and we have a CXP consumable and some 244 gear, uh, more 244 gear. Savant enhancement, again, I guess I'll claim that for old set. Um, implant, but not one that is better than the one I have. Survivor's robe. I don't think I need that. Let's just check here. Um, 246, and that's what I have right here is a 246. So, nope, we are good on that front. Only a few more to go. Reactive warding is that relic again. We've gotten like four of those now. Name these guys real quick. And uh, Vigilant, don't think that's worthwhile. Maybe, yeah, no, you really want the Steadfast, I think. I think that's too low at defense, because defense is still somewhat useful. What do you get for it, Endurance? I'm going to take this just in case, but I don't think that's a good enhancement. Let me just send a real quick text. 
Alright. And then that should buy me enough time to uh, keep going here. Encrypted memory core, I will take that. Although I don't think that's the good one anymore. Gloves we already have decided, right? Pretty sure we already got some gloves somewhere. Yeah, there they are. All my command crates are all out of order now. Um, pants we already said we didn't need. Really just legendary at this point. Oh, we are maxed out. Okay, so I do want those. Going to disintegrate. Purple stuff we just got. Slowly but surely, I will gain reputation with all these factions. Not sure it's really worth it, but you never know when they might have something that I want. Canyon gifts. Um, Jawa junk. Okay. Quick scroll through to make sure. Not missing anything good. Nope, doesn't look like it. At least nothing I could use. How are we doing on currency? 2700. So we're going to be close, but I think we're going to be okay. And if I have to, I can just leave my command tokens in here until I spend some of them. Superior command boost and a blue relic. Serendipitous assault. <laughs> it's like Bioware knows that tanks use DPS relics because it puts them in here. I wonder if it's DPS, do you get tank relics? That would really suck if you got it on like a, a DPS sage or a healer sage. All right, last one. Oh, a speeder. What does that look like? That's interesting. Um, I'll probably never use it though, because I li like my uh, good old Nexu from whatever season of PvP that was. Um, all right, last one. Wish me luck. And ah, oh, you guys didn't wish me enough luck. Only a 244. All right, so um, overall, a pretty good haul. We got a bunch of stuff I could use, um, and I still need a bunch of tanking gear, but. We are getting ever closer to having a complete tank set, right in time to have 252 and 258 gear, which apparently you need to grind like dailies for, so that's going to really suck because I don't really like dailies, but we'll see. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I need to get going. Uh, have a great day, and I will see you all later.